What's up, EDG family? Kevin here, and I was just getting ready to shoot a video on five games in my collection that are uh, misses currently. They're not bad games. Um, they're just games that haven't quite landed for me, and I was going to do a tasting, but instead I decided, after I thought about it, I'm going to do a cocktail. I'm going to do a cocktail tasting on something that has been a miss for me. So I picked up some Aperol. Um, I don't know. I've probably had this for close to a year now. I, I made old fashions with it when I got it. I don't know if I made this uh, Aperol Spritz, which is the recipe on the back of the bottle, but I did do an old fashioned and I remember it kind of being a little weird. So this is kind of one of those things where this drink didn't really hit for me and we're gonna see if, uh, you know, maybe it hits for me now and we'll talk about why it hasn't. But if you have any other great Aperol uh, cocktail recipes, definitely send them my way. I, I enjoy doing, uh, some tastings on here I uh, like to try new things so we're gonna make an Aperol old-fashioned I will link the recipe I'm using but I will also know I'm gonna make a quick change quick change on here I am NOT gonna use bourbon I'm gonna use two parts rye As you can tell I'm getting a little low on this uh, 101 rye that's because it's uh, pretty much my shelf uh, mixer for old fashions around the house so uh take that in mind so i don't know if we got we got two parts we got two parts so i'm gonna put two parts of this in here and we will put a half a part of aperol half a part of uh some simple syrup and uh we'll mix that all together and then we'll throw it in uh throw it in this glass but I will tell you, this is one of those things that I just... I'll, I'll read a little bit about Aperol in a second. It's one of those things that's just been kind of a miss. I, I thought it tasted very... I'm going to use the word wonky. I, I did. I just used the word wonky. But that's kind of what I I thought about it when I tasted this for the first time. And so we'll see if we can maybe figure out a couple uses. This is one of those things I got thinking I would use it a little bit more than I have. I didn't think... Uh, I didn't think... I would use a ton of it, but I did. Uh, I did think I would use it more than this. There's a couple recipes that I that caught my eye when I uh, when I got that bottle. I'm gonna give this a quick mix. You can do this all in the cup, but I'm using a an ice ball because, like I said, getting ready to shoot a video on five board games that are misses in my collection. We're gonna check out this cocktail that has been. You know, a miss for me thus far. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and ice this. And then we're gonna garnish it. If you've seen my old fashioned video, I don't always garnish, but I felt like we uh we could do a garnish today. So we're gonna we're gonna add a little bit of this orange peel. <laughs> we're gonna add a different piece of orange peel. And uh, hopefully this uh, changes the flavor a little bit. I will tell you, I do think adding uh, adding some orange peel does make a difference on a lot of uh, a lot of cocktails. So if you never try adding a garnish like that, it uh, it does make a difference. We are gonna taste this, and we'll see if uh, maybe this is something I can you know try try again and enjoy. Very citrusy. I believe this is high in citrus flavors too. Uh, it says it's based on an infusion of select herbs and roots as well. Very sweet. Very sweet. Even with uh, two parts of uh, 101. It's quite sweet. I will, uh, I will say that. I, I believe probably between that and you know half part simple syrup. So definitely adjust that for you. I would probably take the simple syrup down, maybe just a tad. But I will say, it's not half bad. It is definitely uh, very similar in old fashion. It doesn't quite have that spice kick you get with bitters, but I do think this liqueur. Kind of, kind of makes up for that. 
I would say if you're not you're not somebody that likes you know maybe as much spice in their old fashioned, this is probably a good route to go. Very, very tasty. I'm glad I gave this a second shot. I will say, not as bad of a miss for me as I thought. Like I said, I don't know if it's the difference in when I'm making it now. Uh, the 101, the rye is obviously going to give you, you know, bolder flavor. It's going to, you know, tame this a little bit down. So that is definitely uh, something to think about. But I was going to say, Aperol, what, what, was, what was I going to, was going to tell you guys? Aperol, fried orange, bitter, bitter sweet liqueur with a low 11%. Um, alcohol content, it's meant to stimulate the appetite, and it's typically consumed before dinner. I've not eaten yet. Um, and Aperol is perhaps the best known as the star ingredient of a popular cocktail, the Aperol Spritz. So let me know. If I, uh, if I get 10 likes, maybe we'll try the Aperol Spritz uh, next time. 10 likes on this video, I'm easy to please. Uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to convince me too much uh, to do another tasting. But I would say definitely check this out. I uh, I thought it was a miss for me, but I will say it is a little bit more of a hit. And so uh, it's about time for me to talk about some games, talk about how we can maybe turn those games into hits. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.